everybody, it's Elle. Thanks for watching my channel today. We're going to do March favorites today, and it's my birthday. Yay! Yes, it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go. I have a flight to catch. And as I start every favorites with something that should be a favorite for you, um, I thought about it and I said, well, what am I going to talk about this time? Well, I want to talk about is the beauty that's behind the makeup. Sometimes we can wear so much makeup and cover things and cover things, but you have to remember that beauty is always on the inside and under all this makeup, under all these clothes, we have to be beautiful from the inside out. And that's what really reflects in our personality and in our day-to-day -day actions. So that's just my little favorite for this month. And let's get into some favorite products that I've been loving all month and using all month. I had a chance to travel uh, last month um, on a, I was going for like three weeks. I went to the Caribbean and I also went to Florida. And if you want to watch the vlog, just look at the last video. Uh, it should be down in the link. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that video link at the bottom of this video. I would like to start off with this Vice palette. It comes with a little pouch. And this is Urban Decay Vice palette. This is number four. And this eyeshadow palette includes shimmers, mattes, and glitters. And it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. This is the palette here. The shades are so pigmented and I really enjoyed this palette. I received it as a gift and I really, really love it. It has mattes in it. It has high pigments. Look at that color. That's gorgeous. Here's the black. Look how pigment that is. And I love a matte black. And I've been looking for that everywhere. I've been looking for a, a palette that has shimmers, glitters, and mattes in it, and this is it. The colors are so vibrant. The fallout is not there. Since I've used it, I haven't had any fallout. And the colors are very vibrant, and I would love to wear these colors in the summer. So I really love this palette. It comes with a little pouch for travel. It has a spider web design on it, and the front of the palette is made to look like an oil slick. So this is art by itself. <laughs> and I really, really love this palette. And I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of it. I really, really love it. I would it. like to talk about this brush that I picked up from Target, and it's the e.l.f. brush. And I was really surprised at how economical e.l.f is and how good the products are it comes with a little pouch and here's the brush and it's good for contouring like under the eye I've been using it under my eyes and you know those little crevices that's hard to get and the brush is it feels like a high-end brush but it really wasn't it was only three dollars and it's great for any under eye concealer I've been getting a lot of use out of this brush it comes with a glossy finish and a matte finish and the bristles look just like that. I really like it. My Laura Mercier Rose Gold. And this is considered an eyeshadow, but I've been using it as a highlighter as well. It's like a rose gold. It's sort of like a cream base. And you can use this as a highlighter or you can use it as an eyeshadow. And this is the finish on there. Finish right there. It's like a metallic sort of rose gold color. I love this. This has this lasts me so long and I used it so much last month when I was out of town that I decided it was one of my favorites. And not only can you use it as a eyeshadow, but you can also use it as a highlighter and it's considered an eyeshadow, but it's great. It's a it's a metallic cream color and it comes in a little tube like this. So it's it's wonderful. I really like it. Now I would like to talk about my nails. And I always talk about my nails every month. So if you want to hear something that you want, you know, what do you think about the nail polishes? This color that I'm wearing is called Lilacism. And this is an Essie polish. It was perfect for Easter. I'm still wearing nails from Easter, so they're holding up pretty good. And Easter was, I think, last week. 
Yep, and this color is so pretty. It's a nice pastel color, and it's a light, light, light pale purple. It's like a lavender, and it's so pretty. I got a lot of compliments on it, and it's become one of my favorites. So it's great. Next, I would like to talk about my sunglasses. These sunglasses are Nicole Miller's, and I've been throwing these sunglasses around everywhere. This, these sunglasses have been in the ocean with me, They've been in my beach bag. They've been at the bottom of my purse. They have been through everything. They held up so good. Um, these are very durable. These are Nicole Miller's, and you can see them in the rest of my video. When I did text, which I can link down below. It's right there. <laughs> and these glasses are great. They look like this. And they're awesome. I really like them. They came in handy. I, like I said, I went ahead and slid them in my purse. I threw them down at the beach. Uh, they fell in the ocean. They still fine. So these were my favorite. And these glasses went with me for three weeks out of town. And I even wore them when I got home. I really like them. I like the design. They have like a little buckles on the side. And they have, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a brown tint, a brown reddish tint in there. Well, I'm taking them with me again uh, when I leave. I want to get into my skincare. And the first thing I've been using is Burt's Bee. It's called Royal Jelly Eye Cream. And it has a real creamy consistency on the inside. It looks like that. And the consistency, it feels like jelly. It's not really a jelly, but it's more like a cream base, but I really noticed some improvement in the fine lines around my eyes. Like I said, my birthday is today. I'm getting older, but I'm trying to grow old gracefully and I'm trying to fight it. But this is what I've been using on my eyes. I really like it and it's great. I really, really like this. And I didn't think Burt's Bees made ice cream, but I'm finding that they make a, a lot of good products and it smells like honey and it's non-irritating. It doesn't have any fillers in it and it's organic. I really like it. Next thing I would like to talk about is my L'Oreal Age Perfecting Night Cream. And I've been using this every night. I've given my Borgesi a break because I've, I've used it so much. So I just wanted to try a new product and I'm still in love with this. This actually tones and lifts your skin overnight. So once you do your face regimen at night, you just wash your face like you normally do and do your little regimen and then you put this on at night. I put a serum on and then this. And I really notice a difference in my face. I really like this cream. Here it is, it comes with a little lid on it. And it's like a really, really nice light cream. It looks just like that. It doesn't really have a smell to it. The bottle is very heavy and I really like what it's doing for my skin. I've really been into taking care of my skin lately. So since I'm getting older. The next thing is this Odd Lot Body Butter, the Scottish Fine Soap. This stuff smells amazing. It smells wonderful. It smells, it smells like perfume in a jar. <laughs> and it's a this is the consistency. I really don't want to spill it because it's a little, little runny, but I dab a little bit of this on my arms because I have eczema. I can't have a lot of smells on me. But if I dab a little bit of this on, I don't even need perfume. And it's a real soft smell, but it's not overpowering. And here's the consistency. It's like that. It's like a, a oil, sort of, but it's more creamier than anything. And once you rub it in, it's in, it's gone. So it dissolves really fast. I really like this cream. It smells so good. But if I don't want any perfume scents on and I want to smell fresh, I will wear this. And this is called A Lot. Keeping on with the same theme of smells, I received this for a gift. I know I get a lot of gifts with smell good things because people know I love things that smell good. And this came from Victoria's Secret. This is called Such a Flirt. And it has star fruit and white orchid in it and it smells wonderful it has a i love anything that have really really soft smells it's also moisturizing and hydrating for your skin for so this is a spring lotion i would recommend this if you wanted a soft scent 
but it, smell, it smells like flowers. It's, it's a real floral smell. So if you love a soft floral smell, I would go get this. When I received my gift from my husband for Valentine's Day, I bought him some Carolina Herrera. And this is from, this is my husband's cologne. This is my favorite for the month, <laughs> the month of March. And I know it's weird that I'm showing a guy or a man cologne, but if you have a guy or a man or whoever you with, you know, your partner, whoever you with, cause we're global here, this Carolina Herrera. And it has a top that opens and closes. And it is the bomb. When I say the bomb, this stuff is, this is made for a man. And when I read up when Carolina Herrera made it, she thought about her husband. And she picked scents that she thought that he would like. And she based the scent around her husband. And it is amazing. And I can tell that this particular cologne was made with love because it's not overwhelming. It's not spicy. It's not in your face. Too much cologne. It is a, a really subtle, sexy smell. And it's my favorite. It has been my favorite cologne on my husband for the month of March. And we also purchased that while we were traveling. My favorite scents for the month for perfume has been Pink Sugar. So I have the cologne spray and I also have the hair spray. And it's a really light, sweet smell. Yes, yeah, an Air Du Toilette. And it's just really, really light. It smells it like- It smells like cotton candy and juicy fruit gum. <laughs> and it is amazing. It's my favorite for the month of March. I reached for this all spring. I even wore this on Easter. And it was great. And I even sprayed some in my hair with my hairspray. The hair perfume. It smells amazing. Shower gel as well. And these two I reached for the whole month of March. I wanna talk about some accessories. And this is my purse holder. <laughs> and it wraps up just like this. I throw it right in my suitcase or my purse. And when I go out of town, if I have a purse, I could just, you know, set this, the top, and it has a cute little top to it too. I could just set my purse on the table because we go out to eat a lot. You know, we traveling and we go eat, we can't cook. And I take my purse with me. I do not like to set my purse down on the floor. So what I do is I go ahead and put my purse on the table and my purse rests on a hook. So you want to drop it. And it's so cute. It's so convenient. It, you drop it right in your purse. And the last accessory I wanted to talk about is this hat. I love hats. I wear hats when I'm traveling and I don't feel like dressing up. Sunglasses and a hat. That's my, that's my makeup for the day. I really love this hat. This hat was a gift from my mom. I think she had it made for me. And I love it. It's white. It has a velcro back and it's blinged out if you love blingy things like i do you would love this hat <laughs> that's it for the month of march and i'm doing a lot of traveling right now i'm so glad that you subscribed all the new people that subscribe to me thank you very much and welcome we also have a travel channel me and my husband and i can link that below if you can take a look at how we travel our world travels we love to travel we travel all the time and we have fun so why not you know we happy we married so that's what we're supposed to do today is my birthday and i will be vlogging for you guys so stay tuned we have some new footage for you to all my subscribers thank you for subscribing to all my new subscribers welcome Comment below and let me know who you are. I love to talk to my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, have fun. Take care.